Fragrance Fiends, how you doing? I'm well, thank you. My name is Hannibal. This is Magnificence. If you've never been here before, what we do here is talk about fragrances. Our niche, designer, indie, what I like, what I hate, what I recently bought, what I want to buy, etc. So if you are here and you like that kind of thing, you are in the right place. So stay tuned. Press that subscribe button if you like what you see. Comment. You know, all of that stuff. So let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about 10 fragrances that are perfect for you to wear this spring and maybe even summer, but let's talk about spring first because then I won't have a top 10 summer list. I'll try to leave links to all of these down in the description so you guys can check those out. So first off, in no particular order, and I love this one, but it's discontinued, which is why I'm putting it last and just getting it out of the way. It is this one, Jean Varvato's Artisan Aqua. Oh my gosh, this one is your cleanest, greenest aquatic soap. When you're hot, when you're sweating, you come back from playing a game of football, or whatever sport that you like to play, you come back home, you get in the shower and you're looking forward to put it on because it's just going to invigorate you. It's just going to supercharge you so much so that when you come out, you feel perfectly fine and ready to hit the bed or something. So this one here is a wonderful fragrance from the House of Jean Bottles. Why they discontinued it, I don't know. Why it didn't sell, I don't know. But honestly, Jean Bottles, you need to bring this back. It's discontinued, but you can still find it relatively easily, especially in Canada. Um, its price is not that exorbitant. I got this from Maximum Fragrances for about $38 US. The notes are right here so you guys can take a look. I'm going to just be quiet so you guys can take them in. So let's talk about performance now. Performance leaves a lot to be desired, but it is an eau de toilette concentration. So five hours roughly is what I get from this. I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but part of the... Part of the charm of this fragrance is in the fact that it's a light, soapiness, freshness, greenness that you get that makes it very nice and easy to wear, easy to palette, refreshing. If it was any deeper, danker or longer lasting, it might come off a bit synthetic and it might be a bit off-putting, which I think for what it is, for the price you can get it or could have gotten it before for, it's a great offering for an EDT and it performs just the perfect amount. Okay, so the next one is also a discontinued fragrance, and this one is much easier to find. It's still on discounters all over the place uh, for a very good price. And it's from the House of Paco Rabanne, and it's this guy right here. <laughs> Ultra Red. And there we go. Ultra Red, man. I like the bottle of this one. It's pretty cool. It sprays like this. Ooh! This is a lovely, sweet, bubblegummy candy-like, decadent, but at the same time, fresh, youthful, invigorating, red fragrance. That's the best way I could um, uh, explain or describe it. It's a red fragrance. It smells like a red lollipop, basically. It's really nice to wear, especially if it's uh, a bit warm outside. It, don't go too hard on it, but if it's warm outside, if it's humid, you can wear it. It'll project off your skin nicely, especially if you just just finished bathing. You're wearing a nice white shirt or white linen um, a, a blouse or whatever you want because it is very much unisex. This one is not, I do not consider this a masculine fragrance. It's very much unisex. I'm going to put up the notes here so you guys can take a look. And I'm so glad that it's so available these days. I guess they found like a hidden stash somewhere in France and they just said, you know what? We didn't even know that this was here. Let's just flood the market with them. And when it came out, I think it was in 2020, when it came back out and was basically very, very more widely available, although discontinued, still very widely available, people were buying it by the dozens. People, I had friends telling me they bought a dozen bottles. Why? not sure I guess they resold them thinking that it was gonna go out of stock again and thankfully it is not out of stock as of this video the shooting of this video which is 2022 it's still available on fragrance buy I believe as I said before I'll leave links in the description below performance 
a little bit better than the previous one but because this got discontinued in 2010 which is what this bottle is a 2010 bottle yeah the batch code is not coming up so this is a 2010 bottle and because of that um, the performance on this bottle is not that great I get about, about five or six hours out of it it's been out of um, stock for a very long time so I guess this one although very well preserved the smell is very well strong still very nice smelling it hasn't turned at all but because of that you can't expect it to perform as well as when it first came up so yeah five six hours out of that one next one we're gonna go with a niche offering and this one is from Zaharov I don't know do you guys consider Zaharov niche or designer the prices are somewhat lower end niche high end designer and the quality is amazing it goes without saying, my favorite offering from Zaharov so far, it's this one right here, Zaharov Signature Pro. Zaharov Signature is a lavender, cardamom, spice, woody balm with a scent profile that I haven't smelled in anything else. If I wasn't sitting down, I'd spin like Jeremy fragrance right now. I'm smelling some cedar wood right now to prepare for my video. This one is perfect for somebody who's dressed kind of like me. You could wear it to the office, you could wear it to uh, an outing, casual, morning, night, evening, anytime. Uh, it's very versatile. It's not only fit for spring, but because of that fresh lavender and those very light spices, which kind of mold it rather than give it a very strong uh, spiciness or spicy nuance, this fragrance is perfect for spring. Here are the notes for this one. And the performance on this is much, much better than the previous two we talked about. So number eight on this list, Zaharov Signature Pro. Next one is YouTuber Fragrance, but please, hear me out. I am presenting this one with mixed feelings. The fragrance is absolutely fantastic, phenomenal, beautiful, special, rich. It is the perfect scent for the perfect gentleman during the perfect meeting. And it's from Fragrance One, so I'm just gonna put it out there. Jeremy Fragrance made this. And even though it's awesome, I think it's overpriced, so that's a disclaimer. But if money is not a, a, an issue and you just wanna get your nose on a very special fragrance, Black Tie by Fragrance One. I only have this 10 milliliter decant off and it will last me a long time because I have so many fragrances and will not be wearing this very often as I treasure it so much. And this thing is a two spray max fragrance. This performance monster is incredible. And I highly, highly suggest it if you are a guy who wears suits very frequently, has a lot of exec meetings, is a very uh, a strong personality kind of guy, you're always out there, you're always mingling with people, a businessman, maybe a mogul, you could be a doctor, a lawyer. This fragrance is amazing. So, that out of the way, what is the note breakdown? Right here, baby. As I said before, this is a performance monster. The main notes I get out of this is a very strong, citrusy opening that then dwindles down to a leather spice the leather in this is not animalic, but it is a very synthetic kind of leather, but in a very good way. It smells like a brand new shoe that you got from Carolina Herrera. And you pulled it out of the box and it has a little nectaline bags in there and you just sniff it in it's like, and it's that brand new black leather shoe smell. This is it right here. But added to the smell of the boutique's high quality air freshener, I guess. When you smell this, it's very hard to describe, but when you smell this, you can very well picture uh, a highty tighty black tie wearing man in, in a very high-end boutique trying to sell you a fragrance. This is it right here. You can imagine a CEO wearing this fragrance. You walk into his office and the fragrance just hits you in the face like, shit, I'm in the presence of greatness right now. But 50 milliliters cost around 200 euros 250 euros which is way too much in my opinion so sample first got this for like 30 bucks and i don't regret it next one 
So next for spring is an oud fragrance. What? That's right, an oud fragrance. What the f And it is Lalique Homage à l'homme. When you think spring, you don't necessarily think an oud fragrance, but there is a very heavy dose of violet leaf in this fragrance and the notes are right here. And the violet leaf in this really does do amazing things with the oud. It gives it a very unique scent profile. Performance isn't great. You get about four to six hours max with five sprays out of this, but it's very gentlemanly. It very much fits my personality, the way I dress to go to work like this kind of, or sometimes I wear actual shirt and tie. Listen, um, very unique scent profile. You're not gonna smell like everyone else in the room. And I highly suggest you get it because it's a very good price as is known about Lalique as a house. Their fragrances are very well made and very high quality for the price. Next one. Next one is a designer that came out last year and got shit on heavily. I don't know why, I really like it. As a matter of fact, I love this fragrance. When it came out, I smelled it. I was like, yep, this house knows what it's doing. This is a seller. This is one that is going to appeal to the masses. This is one that's going to be very easy to just grab, spray and go. It's a very fruity, salty, aquatic uh, 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 fragrance. It has nothing to do with its namesake predecessor and it is Explorer Ultra Blue by Montblanc. I did an unboxing video of this fragrance when I first got it and Man, it's good. I don't know what everybody is shitting on it for. I don't know what the whole big deal about it being bad is. I really don't see what people are seeing. And I always told myself when this came out, Mont Blanc knew exactly what they were doing. Everybody thought it was going to be a Creed clone, maybe a roll fuck because of the blue color, but it surprised everyone. And it's not a, a clone of any Creed fragrance. It's a unique and original creation by the House of Mont Blanc that smells really mass appealing, aquatic, easy to wear, grab and go. Yes, it's synthetic, but it doesn't cost a lot of money. You can get this for like 25, 30 bucks, which is a great price, as a matter of fact, for this fragrance. You can get 100 milliliters for about a little bit above 30 on discounters, I'll leave a link below. It smells like you went to the beach right after it just finished raining, and you had that salty, humid, fruitiness, aquatic, vibe from it and I really like it. Notes are right here. Performance is very good for a freshie, an eau de toilette uh, uh, even more so. And with three, four sprays, I get about seven, eight hours, which is great. So next one. I'm gonna leave the only one niche offering that's left on this list for last. Um, so I'm gonna go with a cheapy again, another cheapy, and it is Davidoff Cool Water Wave. This bad boy right here, man, when I first got it, I wore the shit out of it. I haven't worn it in about three years, but it smells, still smells absolutely amazing. This one was love at first sniff. This is a very nice, easy to wear, freshy, a very nice, fruity, aquatic, beautiful, mass appealing. Slightly fresher, slightly fruitier take on the original Cool Water, which is absolute legend. Here are the notes. I get about five to six hours out of this, which is more than enough for what this fragrance was created for and what it aims or targets um, to do in the Fragcom. Man, I like this one. <laughs> the next two are newer acquisitions in my collection. One was sent to me for review and I was so pleasantly surprised when I smelled it. I was uh, just above the moon. The other one, which is the one that I'm going to talk about right now, was a gift that I got for Christmas and when I unboxed it on my Instagram channel, completely, completely took me by surprise. I, I, I was expecting something totally different from a Womo flanker, something along the lines of signature or uh, 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 um, the original uh, Womo <laughs> and this is basically an altered version of Creed Aventus. It doesn't smell exactly like Creed Aventus. It smells similar but a lot woodier. The, 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 the pineapple vibe that you get from Aventus is replaced by bergamot in this one which still smells kind of pineapple-y and it makes sense because uh, actually bergamot is used 
to create the pineapple chord in fragrances. Here are the fragrance notes. Bam! This one also has this minty vibe that I get from the, um, the opening um, that settles into a very woody, citrusy mid and base. This one is very easy to wear. It's an easy blind buy. It's not going to be very um, <laughs> polarizing or difficult or challenging at all. It's one of my most worn as a flate because I just find it so simple to just grab and get out of there. The performance on this one is around five to six hours on my skin, but my skin eats up fragrances very quickly. I really do like it. And next. The next fragrance I'm gonna be talking about looks like you found it in a bargain bin at a no-name department store at your local village market. It comes in a very typical decant bottle, like so, and it is not at all what it looks like. Silver Lux by Authenticity Parfums, or Perfumes, sorry. Man, look. When people send me things for review, I don't necessarily overhype them if I don't like them. I would be respectful, I'd post a picture on my Instagram page, I'd give you my honest opinion, try to highlight the positives of it, and I do speak about the negatives, but for this one, this one, oh, it just took me by storm. It, took, it just blew me away. And the wonderful thing about this one is that its performance is absolute monstrosity level. So I know I told you guys it's a monstrosity performer, but what is monstrosity? 12 hours minimum on this one with three sprays, three, four sprays, 12 hours minimum. Two sprays, you get about eight hours, which is more along my preference. Here are the notes. Out of the three that were sent to me, I rated it as number one. And that is for good reason, because this guy right here is a vanilla coconut bomb, but in a very tropical, very heat-friendly sort of way. You can put this on in high heat, one, two sprays max, because it's monstrous, and it'll work very well for you. Although it is a very cheap-looking bottle, I love the aesthetic of, this, of the sticker on the front, playing with the color of the cap, and the general overall feel of the bottle is pretty good. This is a two fluid ounce or 60 milliliter bottle. You can find it on the Authenticity Perfumes website. I am not promoting them. I'm not asking you to go and buy them. They never asked me to put this in the list. I just put it in there because I really do like this one. And the last fragrance that I'm talking about is the Niche fragrance. And it is from the House of Nishane. It is Nishane Hachibat. Look. Pineapple, woody, citrusy, very high quality, very long lasting. Notes are right here. And it is just the best fragrance, or one of the best, one of the top three fragrances that Jorge Lee has ever created in his life. It got so hyped in the beginning as the best, or one of the best um, Creed Aventus clones. But to me, this stands on its own as a masterpiece in fragrance um, or perfumery and I would highly recommend you to sample it before you buy it. A lot of people get a uh, burnt rubber kind of feel out of it or a stinkiness, cat urine kind of smell from it. I don't know why. I don't get that. I think it's lovely. I think it's fresh. I think it's mass appealing. I think it's high quality. It performs well. There's nothing bad netly that I can really say about this one. So yeah guys, Nishane Hachibat. Can't go wrong. Thank you for watching. My name is Hannibal. This is Magnificence. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button if you're on YouTube so you guys can get a notification every time that I drop a video. Hope you like the new aesthetic, the new look of the videos and the content. It's my first list video of the year. Hopefully I'm going to start concentrating more on YouTube, post more YouTube videos, more interesting stuff um, in the near future. And peace.